hello there guys and welcome welcome back to the channel right today we are going to be taking a look at rank 3 mantis now i do have another mantis showcase coming at, out at some point soon and if you are yourself interested to submit a showcase then you can see my contact information on the screen right now my line id discord id my email and that is also my abzone email so if you want to send over the gameplay, the best way to do it is by Amazon for sure. All the links will be in the video description also. So let's get to it. We have Mantis and we have one nice long edited clip together. And obviously Mantis is a champion I have been warming up to myself quite recently. And here initially we're going to see the difference of a rank 3 to rank one month so this was 78k plus 118k so there was 190k level two at max ramp basically so 190k i think right 180k going to 250k level two at rank two and rank three is going to be let's see 250k at rank two 124 plus 185 300k so there is quite significant difference obviously in the reach of that level two which is super important for mantis in general and <clears throat> now we're gonna have rank three mantis with full recoil setup let's see how heavy does this level three goes now three level two Mantis actually has a solid level 3 rotation, which I did not know about, just so you guys are aware. Level 2 is not the only thing she can do. She can also do a massive, massive, massive damage after level 3. So 148 plus 223. It's a lot of damage. 148 plus 223 is... 370? Something like that. Here we're going to see what I did not expect. It is going to be the level 3 rotation. You basically connect your first two hits of heavy, get the cruelties, go for level three. That's going to do like 100k. And then you can immediately go in for like a full combo with the relic and you do like 50k mediums and stuff. So that was kind of cool to see. That was a lot of damage in the end, without a doubt. Ooh, Wolverine. Okay, Wolverine has smaller health pool. I think rank three Mantis on Recall Masteries will have enough reach to just completely nuke down the boy. Okay, so this is also very good for me to see how other people run Mantis. And uh, I think it is a bit more effective to wait until your uh, Intimidate, you know, wait a bit more until you and apply Intimidate when you're at two bars of power and then do the ramp up. So that, is, that was one dead Wolverine. And here, obviously, the matchup with the class advantage. This is. Uh, also uh more than likely going to be hyper fast so finish combo with medium there finish combo with light sweet go in for the build up he needs to make it in time that's fine and let's charge it up got the 10 furies 160 239 that's 400k level two with a very very straightforward simple ramp 400k level 2 is not bad okay but realistically that is with recall masteries active and mantis is de facto the best photon hunter right so that also pretty much immediately automatically makes her relevant because photon is an absolute nightmare on defense so let's see how she does here in alliance war situation but obviously we have uh hazard shift to deal with he added power stat one boost fine you can see that photon has gained measly two charges he fortunately ate that Ooh, but at the same time she had seven promise effects get to the level two and yep yeah, no the job's done oh it's always so satisfying it's always so satisfying to see a photon getting nuked into the oblivion. Okay, one of the few matches she wasn't banned. I do actually have another person who submitted a showcase with primarily Balgon's fights, which is, I look forward to uh, showing to you guys. So here again, aha, 
somebody got too carried away. This is a rough matchup, though, I think. It's not easy to ramp him up, ramp her up, I mean. What? He had like no charges, he had like two fury. Oh, well, to be fair, his health pool is tiny. I thought this is going to go worse, but yeah, there was no need to build up 20 charges in this one. 250-300k Thronebreaker EQ opponent. Okay, okay, let's see. So these are, by the looks of it, no, well, she doesn't necessarily benefit from... <gasps> that might be a good idea for some testing. Oh, but it's changing every month, so it's not the same. Okay, fine. Fine. So 300k opponent. Obviously, she's going to nuke it down, like, super fast. 20 charges, he's at 59% health, like that falcon is dead, he just doesn't know it yet. Yeah, and there's like a 350k level 2. If he did zero damage up until that point, he would have been dead. And that's kind of obviously the charm of the months. Number one, because science class is as dominant and she's currently still the most prominent new uh, tranquilized champion in the game. The champion with like you know the most frequent easy to access tranquilize and it being supercharged against science champions makes uh well they're quite a good defender if they only have science champions left and it also also obviously makes her tremendously good offensively against a ton of them and the level two nuke thing is just perfect basically so here he's going for seven furies and that still should be enough yep not even a full ramp up, which again is fair enough. You don't need a full ramp up sometimes. Now Captain Marvel again with 305k health. And at this point it I feel bad for the guys that she bullies. Because <coughs> having recall master his own mantis. Just you know. <coughs> Sorry guys, something seems to be stuck in my neck. It's it's this seems to be bullying basically. Level two and done, it kind of like this might be a bit stupid comparison, but it kind of reminds me of watching like Corvus fights where you just get to level two with like power bug boost or something, or you know, just smack big level twos, period. And obviously it's not the same, and obviously the abilities are different, but this kind of reminds me of that where, you know, level two and done. Level two and done. And if you're not, then you probably not want not really want to use Mantis for those fights. That's except that you can, you know, you just need to rebuild back to a new level too. Okay. He didn't even need that. He's just going for it. Yep, obviously he has more than enough damage. And these are the fights when you can see that the player gets comfortable with the champion when they do make decisions like that. You know, not going to bait out that level two. Don't, I'm not worried that I'm going to push them into three bars of power. I just, you know, know for a fact that you know, the level 2 is going to finish the fight. Aha! Uh -huh, got intercepted in the face by Black Panther. Aha! Uh -huh, uh -huh. Except he just needs to... Fly Intimidate, get a few more charges in. And there we go. Again, he just doesn't even bother building up Mantis properly, which does make her significantly easier to play. And we are going to go... The shame Mantis will stuck in the next meta because we're going to have like pocket at power and safeguard and stuff and that means mantis will be off the table for the next Balagrand season like many other champions obviously but okay so blade again you know gonna be very quick work he just basically wants to get to level uh two or close to it and then whatever charges he has that will do the blade does throw the special and go for the intimidate probably nope no need for it yeah five furies but again way more than enough that's an overkill so that will be my takeaway rank three mantis is in fact an overkill right as i said i do have another mantis showcase coming specifically uh more leaning into the battlegrounds fights submitted by another player so it's going to be interesting to compare how both of them do use and run the champion and here we are going up against a 
mean Nimrod boss. Right? So this Nimrod has a charge. He just needs to make sure that he doesn't throw his level 2 in the wrong phase, I think. Which I think he might. Yeah. Oh, no. It's fine. Fine, it's fine, it's fine. He did the correct one. And yeah, there's more than enough damage. And that's one dead Nimrod. And that is a rank 3 month. One second, let's rewind that a bit. A very nice looking champion. Huge, huge thank you to Pitash for submitting the video. And let me know what you guys think. How, what do you think of Mantis in general right now? Has your valuation of her gone up or down? And uh, yeah, I'll catch you guys later. Bye bye. Hello there guys and welcome back to the channel. So we have all the information about